Hey guys, good morning. Black Hat Day. Lucas and I getting ready to start at the auction up. Burners.com auction, right? Yes, sir. Here we are. Let's go. So we're getting ready to have an auction. Uh, we have a thousand lots coming up. We, we have, uh, Luke, bring up the stats page. Let's look at that for a second. People always uh, ask me about how many people we have to bid and different things. So let me just read a couple little stats to you. Total approved bidders. Um, this page? No, it's, uh, go back up to the stats page. Okay. Reports, sales statistics. There you go. Uh, we had 15,000 uh, approved bidders for the auction through our invaluable port. Uh, we have 272 uh, different absentee bidders that have actually placed bids. We have over 6,400 watch lots, uh, over 3,100 absentee bids uh, presented. Uh, and that's just on one of our two sites. So the other site, uh, the numbers will even be more than that as far as uh, I don't have access to that right now. We can't do it until after the auction. But uh, that's kind of the Burners.com stuff. And we're getting ready to start right now. Uh, but we only have 34 people currently. We start in four minutes uh, to start the auction uh, that are live. Uh, and that number will jump uh, as we start the auction at 10 o'clock. And we'll probably get to between two and 300 people by the end of the auction. Um, yeah, so we'll come back when the sale's over and we'll give you a report, show you some stuff that sold. Uh, and tell you how it did. So I just got up, the sale's almost over, and I gotta go out front here at the Antique Center for just a minute, then we'll come back and do a report uh, with Lucas and Mammal. But yeah. Mammal, the word of the day before we go? Friends, I, mean, I met some really nice friends from, from, from Wisconsin out in the mall today, so that was my word of the day, friends. Be friendly, huh? Yes. All right. Okay, the auction is over. Hillary's actually pulling stuff right now. Joe's finishing up, uh, I don't know, the catalog for next week, right? I'm assuming. Um, Are you, you're doing payments. Joe's already collecting payments on the auction that just ended. That's good. Uh, like I said, Hillary's getting stuff gathered up. And Mamma, what do you got going on? I'm picturing things that didn't get pictured yet. Oh, you missed a tray? Well, no, I have a tray. Oh, we have a tray still, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, guys, the auction is over, obviously. And so let me just walk over here, talk about this painting we sold, lot number one. There's a lot of interest in this. Let's have a look. Lot number one, 3,001 in today's auction. What I like about it, first off, is it's got a great period frame on it. Uh, and this group that was uh, all one group, this was my favorite piece from the group. And it's dated it right here and signed 1857. Uh, it had some issues with the little scratch right here on the ear. So it needs just a, a good cleaning put back on it. Uh, but this this is a really cool piece and we had not only uh, in-house bidders we also had some phone bidders on this piece um, and it ended up uh, what was that final price on this this was oh my golly my mind just went blank six hundred dollars final price uh, on the hammer uh, and that was lot number one in the sale now I really wanted to talk about lot number two in the sale but the gentleman was so excited to get it he's already came and picked it up and paid his bill so I'm gonna show you on the phone here um, this lamp right here is a Handel. We actually, Josh and I, when we went to Florida and visited our cousin down there, he had this lamp on his floor um, and we actually purchased it from him. Um, and then he actually mailed it to us. Uh, we ended up paying around 2150, 2200 for it with shipping. Uh, and today it brought 2500 plus the premium. So it was a good pickup as well. Now, something I thought was really fun today. We had a family reunion about three weeks ago, the first week of August. Um, and at the family reunion, we always have auctions. Uh, and so at the auction, you know, I always try and buy a couple things to help out. And what, how the auction works is some, everybody in the family just brings something. We auction it all off. And then that's how we pay for the event that we held. So at the auction, uh, I actually purchased these for, I think, $10 on the pair, um, somewhere in that range. Uh, and then today they sold for 30 or 28 or 30 range. And the other item I got was this, this right here. It's a violin. Um, and I got it for 110 and today it brought 180. So that was really cool. Went to the family reunion and made money. So here's another great buy today. This mirror right here, $110, kind of a federal style mirror, uh, just beautiful piece. And it sold out at $110 today. Another interesting item is this guy right here. This is a Cartier porcelain vase. Now, uh, very interesting that it only brought $55. Uh, I can see this being retail in the 150 range or so, but that was a good buy at 55 today. The pair of candlesticks over here ended up selling for a hammer of $100 on the pair. A really cool bronze goat foot candlestick uh, sold for $36. Uh, here's a great buy for a glass mustard. This ended up selling at $7. The big French perfume in the back, $13. There's a bargain on that one. 
Now, I'm always surprised with things like this because a shade like this, all etched, uh, turn of the century shade, we used to sell for $20 to $40, and today it sold for $2. So what a market difference on items of this nature. So more example right here of an item that used to be a lot more, this uh, cloisonne slash uh, champlevé bronze uh, and cloisonne piece, the lamp, uh, ended up selling for around $10 or $15. Uh, wasn't a lot of money. The toll lamp right beside it was around $40. Uh, I mean, these are great buys on lamps. And then this silver, silver tone one right here with a great shade on it. That's a samovar on the bottom was around 20 or $25. Um, overall guys, lamps of this nature are just really soft in price. Not a lot of folks uh, out there wanting them. And here's another example. This 18th century uh, clock right here, probably Austrian, uh, ended up selling for, I would say 18th, it's probably 19th. Could be like 1900 or 1810. Uh, 1830 somewhere between sold for 80 bucks uh, what a bargain and then this guy right here this is not an old piece but lots of interest in it uh, a lot of times today in today's market it's more about what it looks like the decorative look than the actual uh, antique value but this piece probably made a 1980s uh, reproduction piece could be even 1990s sold for $60 uh, pretty cool pickup our gold today very very uh, very exciting on the gold today lots of interest in the gold we had about a hundred pieces of gold, maybe a little less, maybe 75. Uh, and the, it ranged anywhere from 40, $50 up to highest price item was around 1400. Uh, and then our sterling silver stuff, again, um, I don't show those because they're all locked up after the sale. Uh, it's hard to get into them. Um, so the silver items, uh, again, a few bucks each up to 125 range for most of the sterling jewelry. And we sold about 500 pieces of sterling jewelry today as well. Uh, if you'd like to watch those sales, jump on burners.com and you can watch that sale live every week. Uh, let me show you a quick preview for next week. And then I want to go out in the mall. I've got some interesting things I'd like to show you out there. So next week's auction starts right here, guys. This is a Barbie Deanne bronze. Absolutely awesome. Signed uh, French Barbie Deanne bronze. This one here, period Japanese uh, bronze right beside it. And then another French bronze, a period piece as well. Uh, all these bronzes, the pear point lamp. Uh, to the left of it uh, is in next week's sale as well as this Rookwood lamp. Uh, all of these items will be sold on burners.com next week. The catalog is already online so you can actually go and preview right now. It's also a pretty interesting group of porcelain lamps here that are selling next week. Uh, Manor of Sevs on this one here. Uh, pretty cool. Very nice Italian paintings uh, going to be sold. These guys are both going next week as well. Uh, this Dom figure down here is signed, as well as all of this glass from South Florida uh, is all going to be sold in next week's auction. Uh, all of these items through here, there's some Dalton, some Copenhagen, and there's another Lalique uh, glass sculpture back here. Lots of Franciscan, uh, lots of the blue and white English wares here. Uh, there's some Blue Willow, there's, there's Roseville, uh, all sorts of things like that. Here's a couple more Lalique figurines. Uh, all of these items, we actually have a really high quality sale next week. Check out the specimen right here, the uh, in insect specimen. That's wild. Uh, all of those items are gonna be sold next week. There's a lot of art glass, uh, mid-century and uh, uh, 90s art glass both. There's some pieces up here. Uh, there's even an early stoneware crock right here. This all sells next week. It's already all listed on the burners.com website. Uh, all of the Ron Lee sculptures down here. The Versace plates uh, all sell. So go, go, go take a look at that. Plus we have a hundred Gold rings that were shipped up to us from South Florida that are going to be in the sale as well. Uh, everything's starting at a dollar. Go have a look. Take a chance. Uh, burners.com. The preview is already ready. Just when you get on that catalog, if you click go to burners.com, there's two links to the catalog. The top link is our high bid link. Uh, that catalog on the high bid link is for in-house absentee bidding only. It's not a live console. The second link down will be the invaluable catalog console. And that is when you can actually li bid live as we have the auction. So. We sat back here in the chair all day today. We sold a thousand lots, uh, consecutive order live as we uh, as the auction was going on. Um, and if you want to do that, then you have to go to the invaluable link to register. Today on the invaluable live portion, we had around 260 or so people. And yeah, let's go out and check out the mall. Okay, so we have something special happening. These ladies are going back to Wisconsin today, and Jimmy's not here to say goodbye. So what would you Jimmy, like to say? Jimmy, I appreciate our long, deep thought. Yes, Talks. that's so awesome. <laughs> I had a good time. That's awesome. All right, Jimmy, that's for you. Uh, they're all saying goodbye right now. Head back Bye, to Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, guys, what we have happening here is uh, Lucas was finishing up the auction paperwork, and I went out into the antique center 
Um, and we have one of our dealers out there that handles really awesome stuff. Um, and he restocked a week or so ago, or last last week, and he restocked again yesterday. Um, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try and just pick up some stuff from him. So, Luke, uh, first off, uh, you, let's just let's talk through it. Ooh. As you as you find something, I want you to tell me what you think the item is and what what kind of value you think it has, and then I'll tell you if I paid more or less than that. Okay. Uh, so there you go. Well, this is. Cool. So what, what are you holding up? Let's this see what we got. Tiffany. Show her camera. Oh, isn't that awesome? It's marked uh, LCT for Bill. LCT I'm for sure Bill. Great colors. It's, it's the piece I remember is marked at like like seven hundred or six fifty. So. Yeah. <laughs> you think we can do any good with that? We paid, uh, well, we got that for well, that's big. Uh, five fifty. Look how big that is. This huge piece of Tiffany Favril. Uh, we paid five fifty for that one. Oh my goodness gracious. So, you know, a lot of people always ask how much do you pay for stuff and things. So we're just going to do a little show and tell uh, and I'll try okay, and work so through it. I was it, a so. little above. This. Well, there we go. Get, you, you pull them out and I'll tell you what we did. Okay. This is something on the bottom. That's Made crazy. Italy. It's Murano. Murano duck. Yeah, it's it's I awesome. I bet you paid one forty-five. Uh, actually, it was priced at one forty-nine. I got Ooh, a discount, okay. so I paid less. That was pretty but close. check out the coloring on that. You know what I love about this? Look at this opalescent coloring all the way up into the pinks, and then show us the bottom. Nope, the original right. Murano tag still on there, which I love. It says Italy, uh, made in Italy right on it. That's a great piece of Murano. Okay, there we go. Uh, you missed the first piece you put up there, though. What'd oh, you... the barber bottle? Yeah, tell this me about the barber nice. bottle. It's Isn't Latticino. that great? I think it's Murano, right? Latticino Murano There's bottle. Murano. Yeah, absolutely. But it just feels like it's quality. satin. It's high quality, satin smooth finish. Cork in there. Cork yeah. top on it. Um, Isn't that a great bottle? Yes, it is. Any idea? I bet. Um, 120. 120 is your guess? Yeah. Uh, let me think here. That one, I think it was priced at 155 or something, and I got a discount. So uh, it was going to be, I think you're going you're to be really close by the time with the discount was in there. Um, I think 120 is about the right price. So you're really close on that one. I, 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 I don't have all the stickers. I don't have all the invoices here. Oh, blast. It was 165 minus, uh, so I got 30. it for about 130. Roughly oh, 130. Off, yeah, right? that was cool. But isn't that a great piece of glass? Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I just I feel like that. Man, I thought first off, I thought I could see this thing bringing like two to two to four hundred. The Latticino work in there is absolutely awesome. It may not though. We start everything at a dollar. I mean, it might bring fifty bucks. Uh, we just never know. But what we're putting together, guys, is we, our Monday night premium picks. We're trying to get all from the yeah. heart of Ohio Antique Center. It helps our dealers out here. Uh, and plus, it gets our, our viewers on our whatnot channel to really pay attention and come in and bid on stuff. I don't know what this is, but it feels like it has some age on it. it. It's hanging hearts design, paperweight. It's got a great, it looks, it reminds you of the Orient and Flume ones. Yeah, it does. You know, uh, Lundberg or Orient and Flume, but it's not. It's a different company. I don't know. I'm not sure of the marks either. Um, okay, well, what do you think the price was? Um, that's pretty nice. I bet it was marked out. Uh, you only put 125 I think we actually got that one for around 70. Oh, wow. So okay. I think that was a pretty good deal, right? Yeah, I think it was a great color. I think too. that was a great color. Okay, well, um, let's keep okay, going here. Yeah, let's look, let look at our look wagon. At this. All right, you got to get a chair and get lower here. We're at the bad angle okay. on this camera. Um, Right here. Okay. Pretty what sure it's Stuban, right? Yeah, Stuban. I bet we paid 95. <sighs> I really stepped up on that piece. I paid a ton of money for that one. How much? Well, you're not even close. It was sticker on it was two nineteen. Ooh, uh, so you pay what one sixty? Around one seventy somewhere in there. Well, let's show, let me let me show our viewers here one time though. Check it out though. It's it's got the greatest color on it. And what I the reason I stepped up to that uh, first off is because he gave us a good deal on the lot as a whole. Uh, and second off, it's so hard to find the blue um, Arene in Stuban like this. And this is a great example. Uh, so I was like, you know what? I'm stepping up. This is going to be sold Monday night, premium picks on whatnot. Um, if you're not following us on whatnot, this right here, hopefully will get you following us because this stuff's all going up. So I don't um, know what this is, but it feels like a Correa. It does, doesn't it? It feels like Correa. It feels like Correa. I bet you paid, um, about 110 for this. No, I got that one for like 75. Oh man, I'm off. I'm off. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's show the viewers. Okay. So this is what he's talking about. See the great, uh, the great coloring, the pulled feathers all through here. It's got the twisted top, great iridescence. This is a beautiful piece of art glass. 
uh, and it was it was like under $80 uh, for that one. So I was happy with that. These look like Murano. They are Murano. And I was talking I about this. I bet you paid 65 for the pair. Uh, I think I actually got those for less. I think I ended up getting uh, right at 50 on that pair, which I felt like that would make up for anything I would lose on the Stuban mm -hmm. Arene piece. Because really cool. <laughs> I think these should bring that a piece. Uh, these are fabulous. Yeah. Uh, Murano, they've got the gold Great dust on the here. arms. Yeah, I mean, they're just really cool pieces. Okay. This thing. Oh, and I stepped up on this one is too. This? That's all Sterling is Overlay. I, I know, but who made this? Uh, probably Czech, I'm assuming. Czech, okay. Uh, I think. That um, thing is beautiful. Isn't that great work on that? Show show our viewers the work on it. I bet you paid around like 240 for this. Uh, so you say 240 Yeah. I'm looking right now. I got to try and find which, which see piece if it was. At all. See if it's closed. My list is not uh, popping out here. I think it was less than that. Uh, for some reason, I feel like I got that one for a hundred and uh, something. Here it is. Uh, I think I paid one fifty. What was it marked uh, at? One sixty. I got between one fifty and one sixty. It was marked at two hundred. So I was. Not, Retail price not was two. But look, okay. But let's look at it for a second. The reason being, guys. Because this is like total artistry work for me. I thought that that, that's got such great work, uh, gorgeous piece. And everybody's asking me all the time, how much do you pay for this stuff? And, and uh, how do you how do you figure out what you're gonna pay? Well, first off, I don't know if it's gonna make money or not. Um, we are we are building our whatnot channel. Uh, and a lot of times I, I will uh, overpay it for a few things just to have in the show um, because I wanna build our, build our show um, you know, as part of our advertising. But it also helps our dealers. That's a cool piece. Now I've I feel like this, this I got a good buy on. This is an iCol. This is iCol. Um, I felt like this is a really good buy. I, I feel like saying it was marked at ninety five. It was marked less than ninety five. You said it was a good buy. I feel like if it was a, a bad buy, it would have been like one twenty. But yeah. a good buy, what eighty nine seventy? I'm pretty sure uh, it was marked ninety five dollars, mm -hmm. and we got it for seventy five. Wow. But isn't that great I cold example? You know what I thought it was at first was one of those Chinese, um, you know, those pieces you're seeing made out of, in China. And then after you start looking at it, you're like, oh, no, that's an eye cold. That, mm -hmm. But look at the work on this. It's got great colors, great work. Uh, again, just a beautiful example of glass. And this is all going up in our Monday Night Premium Picks. Is this a Blinko? It's, well, it's Amberine. I'm not sure the company who made it. I don't know if that's Rainbow or Blinko. I have no idea. But what I love about it is the Amberina glow on that. Let me give my guess. 85. Uh, check it out first here. No, no, no. Actually, 65. Look, look at the glow. Ooh, wow. Look Ooh. at all this cadmium in this thing, right? Even even on the lamp, the top shade right here, mm -hmm. the handle, everything about it glows. My guess is 65 there. Your, your guess is 65. I think you're right on. Um it was right in that range. I've had, I can't find it exactly on my list, but very close. It was around $65, yes. Cool. So good guess. Okay. What about this? This looks Blanco. That does look Blanco. Uh, with the lid like this, I feel like saying this would be 95 I got that one for around 50 Ooh, that was a good buy. I think that was a good buy. It's got the stopper and yeah. all. It's all the crackle glass. It's got glass. all the crackle really glass cool. through it, the stopper and all. I was happy with that one. Put it back up. Okay. What about this? Uh, let's kind of shoot through the rest of this. I uh, don't get don't want to get too boring. Yeah. You know what this is? Uh, it looks like Bohemian. No, try again. Murphy, that's Murphy. Ah, that's Kelsey. Yeah, it is. Is it? See, is it Pilgrim? See, that's it a is Pilgrim. Pilgrim. That's Kelsey when Kelsey Pilgrim. worked for Pilgrim. So I don't know. I've heard Kelsey work for Fenton too, but I've seen her Pilgrim pieces like this. I bet you picked it up for forty-five. Uh, that's pretty accurate, actually. I don't know the exact price, but it was right in that range. I'm just going to guess uh, guesstimate the rest of these because I'm pretty close on the prices. Okay. But yeah, you're right. Um, Pilgrim, uh, it was 46, so we got it for 40. We got 10% off. You got Murano, one. what pair? It's a pair, Murano pair. I think this would have been around also 45. That's really close. Uh, I um, think we paid 40. 40. Okay. Yep. That's yep. All cool. right, you're doing good. You're getting better. This. Thing that's is different. Cute. Now that was like crazy. Look at this. What this is a sculpture. Heck? It's signed. I've never had anything by this artist before, um, and it's signed on the other side, right here on this side. This side oh, this that side. side. This side. It's signed right here. What's it uh, say? I don't know. Some it's studios. heavy. Phoenix I can tell Studios. You that. Look at so that. So Phoenix Studios assigned. Isn't that? Oh, wild? this is Phoenix. That's Phoenix Studios. Oh, no kidding. Phoenix has some really cool stuff. Um, I bet you bought this for one fifty-five. Ninety-five. Ooh. I paid 95 for that one. I think that was a good pickup. I feel like that was a good pickup. So overall, I'm feeling pretty good about the load. There's a couple pieces I paid a lot for, that, but I bought some that's going to make up for it. Yeah. 
Uh, that's that's but that's uh, bohemian, I believe. Is it bohemian? Yeah, I think that's Czech. Okay, I bet you paid around thirty five for this one. Uh, I think it was fifty. Fifty. Okay. Yeah. So well, it was low. it was fifty, and I get the ten percent off mm -hmm. on that, so it was probably forty five or somewhere close okay. to that. Okay. Okay. And then this? the two bowls were both about the same price, the two the Murano pieces. Is this, this is Murano right here? That one's Murano, and then the other one I think is Murano as well. Yeah, uh, this right one right there. here. I yeah. bet you paid around 45 a piece for exactly. this. Exactly, 45 each. Let's go. You scored on that one. This I don't is, know if it scored or not. This <laughs> looks like a Lotes, but yeah, didn't that green. great? What is this? I don't think I've seen Lotes in this color before. It reminded me of Lotes. I don't know. But it, it has it that. could be. It's definitely it's check. It's got a, a great finish um, on it I, I think it's check anyway i'm not gonna say 100 percent, but i think it's check wow this is a really great piece isn't I, that gorgeous i bet you paid 155 for it got that for under 100 wow i think wow. that was a good pickup and then one of my favorite things you haven't picked up yet the fan oh well, the fan's cool too that's definitely check it's signed um sign check yeah it should be signed check that's a cool fan base yeah though. czechoslovakia i love the colors it's yeah, definitely an older really piece. great um, i bet you paid around 45 no yeah, i think i paid more for that i think it was like 65 or 70 on that one because of the fan, though. Are you saying this is your favorite piece? No, that's not. Uh, it looks really great, Crystal. It, doesn't that remind is you of Is it like Lalique? a Waterford or something? No, it looks oh, like yeah, a Lalique, Lalique piece. Oh, yeah, because it's the Frosted. But yeah. I could not find a signature, but it's definitely uh, Frosted, just like the Leak polished okay. bottom on it. Uh, Since it's not signed, I bet you paid 35 It was around 40 Somewhere close. close. You were really close. That's a good guess. This? That's my oh. favorite piece. My goodness gracious. Isn't that awesome? What? Or, That's a micro mosaic frame. I've never seen anything Isn't like that. Isn't that the greatest little frame? And it's got frame. a kid in there. And it's got a kid. And it's definitely a period, yeah, period to the frame. The it, it's old like a tin type in there, I look think. Look the age. Uh, check that out. That is so cool. Wow, period, wow. micro mosaic. Yeah. Probably probably from the 1900, 1910 range. Um, I bet you paid 120 Now, this was my favorite piece because it was a bargain and it's really cool. 35 it was around 40 40 dollars yeah uh so but but what do you think that that might bring i mean we've been having a lot of great success with great micro mosaic over 200 i could see that bringing close to that. it may not i mean it might bring 50 we just don't know but i mean i th i could if i seen this somewhere and i'm collecting micro mosaic first off that's a picture frame beautiful beautiful work in it and i'm thinking okay i'm i'm gonna mm -hmm. step up and pay for that one Okay, so that's cool. This is a sterling Mexican. Yeah, it's Mexican. Mexican. It's it's. But sterling look at it. Look, it reminds you of like a south. It's definitely southwest. Yeah. Uh, vibe going on there. Um, All that. I picked that up detail. to put with our Navajo sale. I know it's not not yeah. Navajo, but it, I feel like it really complements our Navajo jewelry. Something degree. this heavy. I bet you pay like one ten, one twenty. It was ninety bucks. That's a good guess. All right, last piece. What is that? Do you know what that is? It's a cigar, isn't it? Or a cigarette? Do you know the maker? Come on, by looking okay. at that, you should be able to know the maker um, instantly. That's the famous maker. Roseville? No. Come on, you're killing me here. Uh, you're killing Miller? me. Miller? No, no. Okay, turn it over and cheat. Uh, Moorcroft. Oh, yes, Moorcroft. Moorcroft. Come on. You've I haven't seen, seen this. a piece of Moorcroft since February. I know. We sold or some. January. Well, we had one on Whatnot, and I picked that one up because I thought that's a reasonable mm -hmm. buy. It's not like it was a great buy, but it was reasonable. Yeah. It was around $40, and uh, I thought for our Whatnot show, that'd be a great pickup. I was just looking at the Moorcroft collection we bought a couple days ago. I should have recognized it. <laughs> no kidding. All right, so you're getting so better, I Luke. bet you paid. This is good stuff. I bet you paid 40 bucks. I paid. I just said that. I paid around $40. Oh, I didn't even hear. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think about the load? There's a lot of great stuff here. A lot of great stuff. Will it make money or not? I don't know. We paid up for sure. I definitely paid up. I gotta, I de the way I like to do these shows, I try and average it out. Mm -hmm. So I've definitely got to pick up a few really good buys in case some stuff yeah, misses. We definitely, we spent a lot of money, but. Because we spent a lot of money. I mean, I mean it's really high end when stuff. You, when you pay that. two and three hundred dollars a piece for little pieces of glass and four hundred, uh, four fifty, uh, or five fifty, what was it? You said uh, four fifty. Four fifty. Yeah, I think this one was four fifty. But wow, well, when you step up and pay like that, guys, we're trying to really bring some high quality stuff to our whatnot on Monday nights. Uh, this right here all sells in a week on Monday. Uh, let me do another quick preview of this Monday. Again, this coming Monday night, premium picks, Burner Brother Antiques on our whatnot channel, guys. All of these items. This is an Orient and Flume collection. And look at the work on this stuff. Absolutely phenomenal pieces. Uh, then you jump right over here. This vase is actually Stuban. This is a monumental Stuban vase. It's a hard color to find. Uh, very cool piece. There's all art glass through here. There's some pottery. Uh, look at the heads on the side of this. I believe this is an uh, Italian piece. Uh, very, very interesting. All of these items, uh, Monday night premium picks. We decided to step up again. We got some really cool pieces. I love that little cat right there. It looks Murano. 
Uh, this is enamel, enamel decorated plaque. Uh, all of these items through here. Check out, this is a great piece right here. That is an Italian paperweight on stand with all that ribbon. What do you call the ribbon, Luke? Uh, is that like a Latticino? Milliforian Latticino. This is a check piece right here. Um, we've got some compacts. And then down here is some more great stuff. That's an I -col beautiful eye colt right here. All of the paperweights. Uh, this is all early glass. And then I love this piece. I picked this up in um, one of our booths up here in Building 6. And this is a oh. burled uh, stand, a little vase, I guess. Uh, you can probably make it an ink, ink pot or a vase, whichever. But that's just a cool piece of burl. I love seeing the turned burl, burl like that. And all of these items are coming up on Monday night. Plus, uh, who knows what else we'll have by the time Monday comes around, right? You never know. You never know. So, what else? Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> all right. Let's hear you guys' thoughts about our picks. Um, man, it's going to be a tough one. We'll see you later.